speak about the history of K Road. Hi. Krangahappy Road is the oldest street in Auckland, as it happens. Uh, it's older than Queen Street, which was only developed by Europeans in the 1840s, whereas Krangahappy Road had been used uh, as a route between the two harbours by pre-European Maori. And it's remained uh, a very busy route ever since then. Uh, it developed into the major, major shopping street for Auckland and from the 1890s and through until the 1960s, most large shops had a branch here and we uh, had several large department stores, including George Courts. Most people wanting anything from clothing through to furniture and appliances tended to come to uh, Crane Happy Road to shop. Uh, there were quite a number of bicycle manufacturers, just as it happened, and a very large concentration of bridal photographers. In the 1960s, uh, a motorway uh, system was put through central Auckland, and unfortunately it displaced 15,000 houses from the area directly next to Crane Happy Road. Uh, these were compulsively purchased and demolished by uh, central government. And at an average of four people per house, that means that at least 50,000 people were forced to move out of the area during that period. Now, the loss of 50,000 customers had a catastrophic effect upon retailing in central Auckland and especially on K Road. And the 1970s and 80s uh, saw a very um, downward turn for retailing on Crangapi Road. And in particular, um, the low rents meant that uh, uh, the red light district moved in, and Crane Happy Road developed quite a lurid reputation. In the last 10 years, we've had about 30 apartment blocks built in the immediate area, and that's more or less returned population that had been displaced in the 1960s. So we're now seeing quite a renaissance in, uh, in retailing in the area, and um, amongst other things, about um, 10 or 12 art galleries appearing. Crane Happy Road continues to be a major arterial route, uh, but it's fortunate in having quite a number of very good buildings along it. So we've been working to try and get a lot of these buildings scheduled uh, by Auckland City Council. Since now that we're on the verge of redevelopment, it's important to get them um, made safe for, for posterity.